Hello and welcome to video number seven, which is traffic source number one, hashtags. Even though hashtags is one of the few methods that are popular in the world of social media and very common, hashtags on Instagram are well used all over Instagram. In fact, if you take a look at a Instagram post, a lot of times you'll find that there are five, six, seven different hashtags all in one post. Now, before you can use hashtags, however, you need to have a good set of keywords. A lot of times people just put random hashtags in hopes that they are going to generate traffic, but you're going to do it differently. And instead you're going to find keywords that are already getting traffic to them and you're going to use those hashtags. So from prior videos, like the videos earlier where we talked about Google suggests keywords and Amazon suggests keywords, you can simply take these specific keywords and break them up for even further. Now, the nice thing about hashtags is you're basically piggybacking on already existing traffic. People are already hashtagging these specific hashtags. There are already traffic going to them. All right. So just like a Google search engine on Instagram, using keywords will allow you to attract a high quality fan of a similar passion. So it's time to do a little brainstorming. Okay. So like I said, Instagram is mainly images. However, to describe your images, it uses a lot of different hashtags. So you don't want to just use a bunch of random tags. You want to use hashtags that are actually getting traffic. Now, certain hashtags or keywords could be getting a large amount of super targeted traffic. So you'll want to use them strategically. So the question is, how do you know if a certain hashtag is getting enough traffic? Well, you could easily find this out by using BuzzSumo and other tools as well. So you want to find a handful of keywords that express your content post and piggyback on that traffic. So if that post is something that intrigues your audience and you've done all the demographical research and all that, then and it's, it's high converting essentially, then you should get a lot of likes and comments and all of that. So from that, you want to take a bundle of hashtags that are getting a lot of traffic and you want to combine them into a sentence without making it look like spam. So let me show you how BuzzSumo and other tools work to achieve this. Now, before I start, I want to warn you that when using hashtags, even with hashtags, you can get your account banned if you post too many posts with the same exact hashtag over and over and over again. So basically at the end of the day, the advice that I can give you is to look as natural as possible. Do not look spammy at all. Otherwise you will trigger the algorithm and trigger a red flag and potentially get banned. So like I said in the previous video, if you overdo anything, that's not a good thing. Keep it normal as much as possible. So I'm going to show you two different tools. The first one is buzzsumo.com, which will basically help you figure out and analyze what content performs the best for any topic or competitor. So this is kind of a first step. It allows you to figure out what content is performing best. And then of course, we're going to use a second tool called hashtagify.me. That's hashtagify.me. And this software tool, it's free. It allows you to basically find and analyze hashtags. All right. So it's a two step process. So the first thing you can do is you can either enter the domain name of a competitor. So if you're starting out, obviously you don't have the data and anything like that. So you could find the website of your competitor and enter that here or you can enter a general keyword, like in this case, scuba diving, just to keep things more consistent. So we type that in and we do the search. We can filter by date, like what is the content that is hot within the last 24 hours, the past week, the past month, the past six months and the past year. So if something is trending just recently, you might want to do at a recent date. And if it's consistent throughout, 
many years, we could choose like the past five years. Now, the thing about BuzzSumo is it does cost money to upgrade, but there is a free version and the free version, you can get some ideas, all right? So what we're doing here, you type in scuba diving and you can see what kind of content is really doing really, really, really well. So we can see like this one gets 68,000 Facebook engagement. We got Pinterest and all that. Uh, we can't necessarily see what's going on in Instagram, but Facebook is a good indication because, and then we have Pinterest as well. Pinterest is also a good indication as well because Pinterest is somewhat similar to Instagram in the sense that it's mainly images. So if we click on Pinterest shares and we can sort it, we can see what is actually doing really well as far as pictures go, right? So we can see the majority of these are like diving gear, 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 gear. So they're definitely selling stuff right here, right? So differences between a dive, a snorkel mask, diving gear. So if we click on one of these, we can take a look at the content and just get an idea of the actual pictures that are involved in all of that. So with Instagram, you can't really link the image to like a URL except for the one URL that you get in your profile. So really what you're looking for is images that are engaging, that are getting high volumes of shares and all that. Now what you need to do is next is once you get some ideas at BuzzSumo, you can hop on over to hashtagify.me. So let's type in a hashtag. I've done that just now, scuba diving. And we can see that what it'll do is it'll, it'll take your keyword and it'll find the other keywords that are surrounding it, like travel, ocean, scuba diving, scuba adventure, underwater, and more. So these are good. And to the right here, you can see this is taken from Twitter. But think about it. We can see that these are the top ones, right? So if they're the top ones, you can simply come here and just grab these hashtags and use them for yourself. But this allows you to find hashtags that are getting traffic. So we could go here, we could type scuba, and we could look under Twitter and see what's going on. But this basically just allows us and gives us an idea of what different hashtags you could potentially use. Now, to get a better gauge on what the volume of traffic that that particular hashtag is getting, you'd have to actually go on Instagram. And Instagram is a platform mainly via mobile, but we can actually go there now. Now, one thing you'll notice is that if you go to Instagram.com, you will have to log in. The one way to bypass that is simply by going to Instagram.com slash Instagram, as you can see here in the address bar. So once you go here, you will see a search engine and you can begin to search for tags. So let's do a search for scuba. And just like the Google suggest keywords, you can see with Instagram, it also gives you suggestions, right? So we got scuba diving, scuba diving girls, scuba diving woman, scuba diving life, scuba diving magazine for mag. So let's just click on that real quick and see what they're posting. So that's the scuba diving mag and that has 14,000 posts. And if we just put our mouse over, we can see Okay, this one has like 1,700 hearts, which are basically likes, one comment. Then we scroll down, we can see this has 180, 352, 173. So that's a good sign when you can see that there are a good amount of hearts or likes. So you can include something like scuba diving right here and see what, how many posts it gets. So there's 2,000 posts, which does mean that as you post things, they can get stuck down below, but at the same time, more saturation is actually a good thing because more saturation means that there are a large amount of people actually looking for these posts. So the more you post, you can get more traffic back to your 
Instagram profile. But using hashtagify.me allows you to kind of gauge what kind of hashtags you can use. And of course you can verify that via Instagram. Now, before I end this video, I wanna say the best way to learn how to kind of bundle your hashtags is if you go to something like this, for example, you see this, this is only using like one hashtag. So they could be using a few more. I wouldn't use a ton of hashtags, but as you can see, they're definitely using a good amount of hashtags, probably about five or six or so. But let's just keep clicking. So this one here is a good example. We can see scuba diving, scuba, Ecuador, dive, a bunch of keywords related to like animals, save your sharks and stuff. So this guy is piggybacking on uh, different organizations like Save Our Seas, Save Our Sharks, South America. So basically he's taken all these keywords or hashtags that relate to each other, but also relate to this picture and hashtags them. And that's great. So he's hashtag about 10, 15 different hashtag keywords and he's got a good amount of likes and all that. Now I will say, like I said earlier, don't take these keywords and hashtag every single post. Use different posts and different keywords every single time. So you could use scuba and scuba diving consistently, but you wanna kinda mix it up. Make it look like you're not spamming. 